Welcome back. So let's just create another module. I'm going to, before we start making routes, I want somewhere to go, right? So I need a module to kind of route to. Now, we are going to use a strategy called um, um, folder by feature or module by feature. So I want to make a module for each major feature I have in my application. And I know I have one feature that I want to kind of go to, and that's going to be an album feature. That's going to be where I have all my albums that I can start jumping through and see what the family shared, which albums and stuff like that. So we're going to try and figure out where to put such an album module and how to actually start structuring the source code as Angular wants us to. So I'll jump back to Angular IO. I'll jump into documents. And if you scroll down, here's something called techniques. And here there's a style guide. And that actually explains everything you need to know about Angular. That explains a lot of stuff. Now, what we want to know right now is how we want to kind of structure our module. So if you scroll down to ND modules here on the right side of the screen and you go into um, folder by feature structure, that's the one I want to use right here. And if I scroll down here, you can see there's something here called refer to the folder and file structure example. They explain why we want to use it right here, but let's just jump to that one. It says kind of we want a core folder that has all the things that everyone wants to use. That's kind of... Uh, used by the entire application. Then here we have something with a, a heroes feature where we are going to have an albums feature instead. And then you can have the, the single album, the list of albums, uh, the shared features that other people also use from the albums list and stuff like that. But we'll get back to that. You can have something called shared here that's a module for sharing other things like specific components that everybody wants to use. And then you have villains, you can have etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So we're going to make now a module specifically for our albums. That's what we're going to make. Now, to do that, we need to kind of make a new module, and that new module is going to be called album. So that's what we're tr going to try and do this lesson. So now that we know how we want to structure this, how do we actually make a beautiful albums module? Well, we jump back into another guide here. This is what techniques I was looking at, but if you scroll up, you can see another one here called fundamentals. I'll open that one and I'll go into ng modules and I'll go into feature modules right here. Now inside the features module, I'm just going to scroll down and I'm going to check out how to make a feature module. We need to run something like this, ng, g for generate, module, and then the name of our module. So jumping over to our code, I'll write ng, g for generate. You don't have to write generate, you can just write g. And module, that I wanna build a module right here. I need the space there and then the name, and my module is just going to be called albums. That's going to be the name of my module right here. Whoops, that was the component, that was the module, right? So I'm going to make albums. We could call album dashboard, but I just want it to be called albums. I'll press enter, I'll let it run, and there we go, it created a new albums module. If I click here on the app, it pops up with a new albums module right here. So now that's the module that I'm going to use for my albums, right? Now the module doesn't have anything important in here for now. It's just a module. We'll start adding components in the next couple of lessons. Um, we can start generating them here. But before we do that, I just want to actually import the feature module into my main module, which is the app module right here. So let's jump into our app module. I'll just go in here into the app module and there I'll just do a comma right under our routing module and I'll add this new albums um, module for the albums feature, albums module. There we go. Now it just grabs that from the album folder and it kind of complains that I want this in single quotation. We can set that up later so it doesn't actually go in every time and make double quotation. And there we go. Now we've added that module. So now we have an albums module we'll start working with in the next lesson. So that's, again, I just want to show you guys where you can kind of go in and dive into these information so I don't have to explain everything to you. You can go and read a lot more about the Angular setup in here. So I'll just try and jump back and forth between Angular.io and the actual code so you guys can start working with it. See you in the next lesson where we'll have even more fun and start generating our first components. Have fun.